Ah, I can't believe I'm watching this. Rant of Wreck, Episode 1. Certain Game Reviewers. For a person that thinks this is about game reviewers, you're wrong. Rant a Wreck. Seems okay right now. I mean, there's no two title sequences or anything. I mean, I mean, it doesn't seem... Oh, I was wrong. I mean, you had your chance, Gumtil. You had your chance to redeem yourself. <laughs> I meant for something bad, am I? Oh, oh. oh. Well, let me read this title. The issues Guptil89 has on certain game reviewers on YouTube and other websites. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm gonna hate myself so much. Notice the spec 3. We all have things that tick us off in life. For example, like bullies, drugs, and hard to control children. Crack. I can ignore all of these things. However, there's one thing that's been no, bothering me that I can't ignore. I'm talking about these users my age end up showing their complete lack of thoughtfulness when reviewing a video game. It's like someone pursuing a PhD but only reads comic books. That there are happen. three things that I can't stand. First of all, okay. a few of them don't use a script. I wonder it's if they've written down any notes at all. I've done it once. Secondly, once many of them don't nice. edit the footage in the videos. It's basically so, footage that occurs as if you um, turned on the video game console and started to play, play from start to finish. And the third one is the worst of the worst. I'm sure some folks will object to this complaint. The worst part about these guys is repeated profanity and vulgar actions. Yeah! Thought so. Let me explain. When you don't script yourself, you sound boring with a lot of uhs, ums, and many pauses. To be more Reading specific, how would you like it if a time. radio or TV announcer started telling a story and had no idea how he or she would tell it? With all the stammering and time wasting, wouldn't it make you want to change the channel? Like, we I want to change this only video. Get to see the first few levels of the game you're reviewing. That doesn't always show us the troubled points you're describing. Um, Sometimes yes people watching would Sometimes want to does. see the later Sometimes levels. I certainly would. I don't want to see someone continuously failing to pass a stage or level and having to start over. That's a let's play, dude. The third problem, profanity and disgraceful He's actions, is reviewer. the number one reason why most game reviewers okay. are hard to enjoy. This Show a different picture of Army, not that one with <laughs> Army. Do you absolutely think it is necessary to Sorry. spew out dirty language and have it bounce off a viewer's eardrums? Yes. I mean, think about it for a minute or two. Do you want to know yes. why dirty language is a huge deal? No. It's mostly because of two important points. Why? The first point is, the inappropriate words being launched out of your oral cavity like bullets just make you sound quite unintelligent mm. and not even funny in the slightest. Too many reviewers' favorite words are the F words, the A Fuck words, and the and S shit. word. Fuck Those ass and words shit. have basically I can make a replaced out of every that. possible adjective, ass noun, shit. and interjection there. imaginable. I made a sentence out I of that. I feel as if people are devoted to these words as if they were awesome presidents or prime ministers. Yeah! Honestly, guys, <laughs> can't you think of something better to say or a better way to say it? Swear yes, words can. are just a crutch! Besides, you should Maladapted. really take this into consideration. It's also the second point I want to make. There are children who use the internet. Oh That's my god, there are children that use the internet. What if a kid stumbled upon your review and started reciting out loud, This game is a piece of shit. I can't f***ing stand this f***ing crap anymore. I'm done. Have a nice day. They'll be sent to their room with soap in their kissers, along with a glass of water and a bucket. Don't Yay. you realize that when a child hears other people cuss, he doesn't, or doesn't she will think that it's that cool? There's Don't you want to set a better example than cuss? that? Hey, kids, guess what? It's all right for you to mimic me because I have amazing talents. So forget about Fred and Smosh. Watch my videos. You'll be cooler than they are. I guarantee it. Oh, man. I sure don't want to say that again. Because I'm an idiot.
To put it simply, using profanity and vulgarity during a review of a video game is unnecessary. It's also just plain boring. Mm -hmm. This suggestion is directed towards three reviewers that people seem to pay the most attention to. Okay, Chris Bors, the irate gamer, it's James awesome. Rolfe, the angry video gamer, okay. and Douglas Darian Walker, that guy with the glasses. Don't you mean the nostalgia <sighs> critic? I have an idea. Why don't you revise some of your reviews when you get the chance? Sure, it's a truckload of work, but if you do that, you might just end up with more fans. Right now, you might either be throwing a hissy fit or wondering, what would be a good review to watch? Well, luckily, I know four places on the net where civilized behavior is found. I got more people for you to choose. Nightwing Zero One's YouTube channel page. Strange Gamers channel page, Never heard of them. GameSpot.com, and GameTrailers.com. And bias as hell. That's a total of only four places on the net, and on one hand, where civilized reviews can be found. Think about it. Because I know Almost what I'm talking about. Almost a person my age or older shout loudly and curse like a sailor over a video game. Your okay, parents tell you to stop people. shouting over a game when you're young, and at your age, that info should be hardwired to your cerebrum. Uh, Even it's though you're acting, your the cursing anger, is abrasive and do? tiresome. Let me assure you, I like the work of James Rolfe, Chris Bors, and Douglas Walker. Don't However, mean, there are a critic? few things about those reviewers that make them less enjoyable. Take Mr. Rolfe's work, for instance. Right, he I'm puts his it. reviews up on three different websites. GameTrailers.com, ScrewAttack.com, and Cinemassacre.com. All the reviews I've seen YouTube. are flooded com. with swears and common That's court sites he has on. His movie summaries on Cinemassacre.com are similar, except that they are not as loaded with bad language as his AVGN videos. Does this have any Even if Rolf is him? part of an R-rated movie site, there is no need to include things like they'll kick your ass till shit comes out your ears. Um, I can understand crude movies? jokes and many swears in an R-rated movie or mature-rated game Metal since it's authentic for where the wrong. action takes place. However, in a game review, not to mention a movie or TV show review, the included vulgarity and profanity is out of line in place. If these guys used their intellect as well as their talent, the audience scale would broaden out beyond 12 to 15-year-olds. Mm. Thanks a ton to everyone who has watched this. Thank and you. I, hope you I really love you. Enjoyed it. You like it. See you guys I love sometime. it. Peace. All right, it's directed by him. It's stylized background by him. Editing by him. Music's not by him apparently. It's ACDC. Script by him. Okay, that was stupid. I saw many flaws in that thing. Too bad I'm not gonna. Too bad I'm not going into detail of why I'm going to explain them. But who cares? KTS the gamer out.